My name is Samuli Urpelainen. Uh, I'm a senior researcher at the Atmos Research Group in the Nano and Molecular Systems Research Unit at the University of Oulu in Finland. I started working as a postdoc after my PhD in Oulu in 2010 uh, at the old Max Lab. In 2013, there was a call for a postdoc position on the species beamline, and I started working uh, with the system and the beamline behind me. One of the very first projects that we did was on atomic layer deposition together with Rainer Tim and Joachim Schnatt from the Lund University. I was then in early 2016 presenting the beamline as one of the results we had this uh, uh, atomic layer deposition growth. Simo Huotari, a professor in uh, X-ray physics at the University of Helsinki, he approached me about possibilities of doing uh, more ALD uh, at Max 4 because they had a group of inorganic chemists who are world leading in atomic layer deposition. So then it took some time of negotiating and coming up with conceptual ideas and try to make as good a copy or, or mimic the ALD cell as well as possible while doing this uh, type of experiments. Uh, in 2018 we hired a postdoc, Esko Kokkonen, who is now working on the species beamline. And finally in 2019 all the pieces of the cell were here. Esko put it together and in the autumn they had the very first test experiment. So now we are doing the second uh, more scientific experiment uh, on the system after some four years of development and design. Traditionally these ALD experiments are done ex situ. So they do the growth cycles uh, for the atomic layer deposition and then they analyze uh, the surface afterwards. And XPS uh, electron spectroscopy is often used as a technique but then you only see the result of each uh, growth after it has happened. Now with synchrotron radiation we can get much more intensity than in the conventional lab X-ray sources first of all and with the modern designs in uh, electron analyzer technology and with this ambient pressure XPS method you can actually measure also at pressures that are relevant for these type of chemical reactions. So combining the synchrotron radiation and of course these uh, technical developments we are able to measure while we are depositing uh, these precursors for the atomic layer deposition growth in, in real time. Sources like MAX4 make it really possible because you need a very brilliant source of light, very tiny, tiny spot. Now at Species uh, we have upgraded the electron lens system which gives us an intensity that is roughly uh, three to ten times higher. Uh, but we also have a delay line detector. Now when we combine that with the very brilliant light from, from this new storage ring, we can actually reach time resolutions that are below a second. So we are now able to measure in the millisecond time scale which starts to approach the time scale of the chemical reactions. So we can really see things that people haven't seen before while doing this ALD growth. So this is really based on a very long collaboration between Finland and Max4 uh, and also the possibility of Finland investing into Max4. Finland has a contract uh, through a FIMAX consortium, an agreement with Max4 about collaboration in terms of uh, instrument de development, uh, uh, funding beamlines like the Finnest Beams beamline. Uh, but also sending personnel to Max4. So the, the cell, although it is funded by the University of Helsinki, it will now belong to Max4 and all the users of Max4 who want to use it. The problem has been that these ALD cells typically are much larger scale. Uh, so we had to compress the size uh, to fit this ambient pressure XPS cell type. So that was a real challenge. There are some special issues that we have taken into account to be able to mimic this ALD process as closely as possible. From the ALD perspective, for the people working with ALD, it's very important to know what happens during the first steps of the growth cycle. The information since before has really been like just before and after and you don't know anything about the chemistry during the process. But now you can really see the chemistry and if you can see the chemistry you can start to see the things that affect the chemistry and then optimize both the precursors and the process. And for me personally, I think my interest is, is really in pushing the boundaries of these techniques, trying to go further and deeper into the atomic and molecular scale. So hopefully after this beam time, we can say that the project has ended and the cell is finished. But of course, there is still work that remains in really analyzing all the data, writing the papers, uh, especially about the instrument. 
so that the scientists will learn about it and can come and use it at MAX4. But of course we already have things in mind that we can start improving uh, based on this experience. Uh, we have ideas for taking the ALD experiments to other beam lines using other techniques. In science it's a never-ending project. Also, you close one book but you open another.